Hello! Hi! Lou and Kate here and we are going to take you through the importance of your PPE and why you absolutely must be wearing it when you are creating with resin and jessamite. So let's make a start. Don't we like to call these particular <gasps> blogs something? We call them Lou's Lab. Oh yeah, well let's start again. Hello! Welcome to Lou's Lab! <laughs> That's better! <laughs> Okay, so mask, let's start with the mask and the importance of wearing this, especially with jessamite. It's very powdery, you're likely to get lots of powder um, splashing up at you when you're mixing and making. Um, you don't want to be breathing that in, we don't want to breathe anything dusty in, so a nice lightweight mask whilst you're making, measuring and mixing is really important. And we sell these on our website. Yeah. Just for use with jessamite. Nice. Easy to put on. Easy to put on. Fabulous, thank you. <laughs> Next up are our compostable gloves. So these are environmentally friendly, first off. Not essential to be wearing them um, when you're working with jessamite, but if you, um, well, I like to have my nails done. <laughs> And I like these gloves just to protect my fresh manicure, but also just to protect your skin. It's easier just to keep you nice and clean. So, so like these are those? specifically for working with jessamite. They're not suitable for working <laughs> with resin. They're one size fits all, so they look quite big, but they're really easy to use. You can use them over and over again. Yeah, absolutely. Just pull them off and use them again. I do that. And jessamite's completely non-toxic, so there's no worries about getting it on your hands or skin. Okay, great. Back to Louise Lab. Goggles, so important. You're measuring and you're mixing, especially larger quantities. Sometimes we de-stress with a mix, perhaps not supposed to, but we do. <laughs> if you're gonna risk getting anything into your eyes, goggles all the time, but also a essential for sanding. Any sanding that you're doing, um, you need to be wet, protecting your eyes always. Yeah, any large pores of resin, if you're making river tables, anything like that, you always have to wear goggles. Nice, love. They don't look the best, but you know, hey-ho. <laughs> they look nice. Okay, nitrile gloves. Why about nitrile gloves? So we're going to move on to resin now. You must wear nitrile gloves when you're working with resin. Vinyl gloves will perish with resin, so you do need to wear the nitrile ones. Um, if you can use them over and over again, when you'll get more use out of them. But also, we're being mindful of waste, um, so I like to just give them a, a baby wipe and then pull them off and use them again. Different sizes? Yep, four different sizes, small all the way up to extra large. These are Andrea's gloves, so they're a bit small, but there we go. Um, as Lou said, if you baby wipe before you take the gloves off, you can then take them off and reuse them again if you're careful. If there's any tears or rips, you have to replace them. Um, but yes, nitro gloves, absolutely essential for working with all of our epoxy resins. Yeah, I really like to um, add a barrier cream too, because when I get into my making, sometimes I might snag them with my tweezers or something like that. So I've got a barrier cream on underneath, also a barrier cream at my arms, but we do wear long sleeves when working with resin because it gets everywhere. It does. <laughs> and it where does. else does it get? Hair. Always tie our hair up if we can. It's essential. There's no doubt about it. Your hair is going to fall into your creation and you'll wake up with a nice <laughs> sticky out <laughs> bit of resin in your hair. So you're going to have to give yourself back. a haircut. Yep. Okay. Next, my favourite, the essential respirator. You must be wearing a respirator if you are sanding back your resin. Anywhere that you're creating dust, you need to protect your lungs. If you are unsure or you have a health condition, wear a respirator. It's not going to hurt you. Get into the habit of wearing a respirator. It's not essential when you're working with um, Resonate resins that you are pouring and mixing, but if you are going to extremely change the properties of the resin with loads of heat, maybe you're taking a Bunsen torch to it, maybe you're um, adding other products, alcohol, inks, or and it becomes a bit fumy, wear a respirator. Why would you not? Because it looks absolutely blooming beautiful. <laughs> Just make sure that you don't have to talk to anyone at the same time. Did you get that? Just make sure you don't have to talk to anybody at the same time. Um, really important piece of kit. You'll find all the details on our website about the respirators and how much life um, you'll get out of them. They are essential. 
Anything else? I think that's it really. It's just be careful, be sensible, be safe. We provide all of the bits and pieces that you need to keep you safe with the PPE on our website. Um, and any questions at all, just contact us on social media or get in touch on email or pick up the phone. We're always here. Yeah, or give us a comment on this video. See you later. Bye.